Hi guys, this is Marino. Um, I'm just gonna show you guys real fast how to insert FPC and how to replace it. To insert it, bring your sequencer up by pressing on F6. It might look different than that. Uh, just select any of the tabs of uh, any of the instruments you have in there. Right click on one of them. Uh, you'll get that drop box. Go to insert and click on FPC. That should bring you this instrument right there, which is your virtual drum machine, FPC. And to replace, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. And to replace, again, go to any of the instruments that you wanna replace. Right click, replace, FPC. To select a preset, go to your FPC instrument, Drop the arrow, go to presets, and select either the Gretschel or Tama. Uh, if you can see your sequencer, you'll notice it says FPC. Once you're selecting a preset, I should say Gretschel. I'm using for that song that I uh, put together, I'm using. Um, Gretchful. So now we're going to send the outputs to the mixer. The way you do that is by clicking in the pad that you're uh, routing to your mixer. In this case, I will start with my two snares and the stick, which are these two here and that one. I'll route those to channel two. So select by clicking and press and drag to number two select by clicking press and drag to number two select by clicking press and drag kick i'm gonna i'll put up on insert one on the mixer hi-hat closed hi-hat open and half open and a tambourine those I'm gonna put on output three so one two three one two three okay right I'm gonna put actually sorry Let's go Tom and Tom. There's four Toms in a row here. I'm going to put two to the left and two to the right. So I'll make those two on four, and those two on five. Okay, so four, four, five, five. Two crashes sending one to six and sending one to seven. Left on six, seven, and the two rights. That one on eight, and the bell right on eight. Uh, I don't know if you guys know this, or if you notice, as you click on each pad, it will give you the name right here. Kick drum, light crash. And also what you just did, was you sent all your drum sounds to your mixer. So each output you used equals an insert in here. Kick, snares, and so on. Now that you have sent your outputs to the mixer from your FPC, all you need to do is rename so you know where is each of your sounds going to. I already have name this one's over here but I just wanted to leave a few a few so I could do it with you guys uh, to select which one you're sending uh, if you forgot the number where you send it to for example if you click on the kick drum and you look on your output box uh, you send it to output one which would be insert one right here let's see right there so we're gonna go ahead and select insert one by clicking on, on insert one right click on it go to rename go to kick okay 
and for snares one two and, and the stick so I send those two snares and the stick I send to output two which is here output two so I'm just gonna go select insert two rename snares click on that little box color it and I believe I send this four hi-hats I'm sorry this four this three hi-hats and the tambourine I sent to output three yes okay so now I'm gonna select insert three go to rename That's. so again to get that drop box you're gonna go to your insert go to rename uh, right click drop the box go to rename and go black and that's it okay guys to select a drum pattern just bring up your FPC click on that little folder icon and you should get you should get um, this page right here and you're going to go to rock loops you're gonna to go to hard rock and just select that beat right there that's the beat I started with when I wrote the track that's what it looks like and we'll just play it back for a second I have it in pattern mode up here so it's just looping around that uh, pattern right there. 